Hi everyone, this is Laura and I um, got some happy mail and I was hoping for it to be happy mail but I'm, I'm not so sure. Um, my first happy mail was from Monica who is Spring Chick, I believe 28 or 48. I'll make sure to put the, the link in the description box. But Monica was making some enamel dots with some um, of those beads that have the stripes. And I thought they came out absolutely beautiful. And I had wanted to try some, went looking for the beads, unfortunately could not find them anywhere. Um, so I had messaged her and had asked her about it. And she said she would love to send me some. I told her, fine, I'll swap you something for it. Maybe you've been looking for something. She's like, no, no, no. I just want to send you the beads. You don't have to send me anything back, which I thought was super, super sweet of Monica. And I thank her from the bottom of my heart. But unfortunately, I got my mail today, guys, and something bad happened to my mail. Now, I don't know. I'm also, I was also expecting a dye that never showed up. Um, it still hasn't shown up. And now I'm a little bit concerned about my mail. I know it's a holiday season, but this has never happened to me. And I've been in this area now for three years. Um, and it looks like it was purposely done because of the cut, but someone slit both of my envelopes. And now this is one of my eBay, um, one of my little eBay hauls. And right now all I have is one and I'm pretty sure that there were supposed to be four packages in here. Well, I only have one and it's missing the other three. So that's a bummer right there. And the only reason I'm showing you that is because, Monica, this came the same way. Um, it looks like somebody took a razor blade straight through it, just like they did with this one. Um, I don't open my packages like this. I don't know who would. Um, but anyway, I haven't opened it yet. And the only reason I say that is because they not only opened the envelope that way, but they cut straight through the plastic bag as well. Now... I am really happy and pleased with this. I mean, you you shared with me more than I ever expected. But I just wanted to share this with you in case there was a lot more beads in here. Which, like I said, I'm really content and happy with the amount. This is perfect. But I just wanted to share that with you in case there was anything else missing as well. Um... It's really heartbreaking, guys, when this happens. I know it has happened to me twice where I have sent something and I don't know how it gets cut into. I don't I don't know why mailmen do this. I just saw Becky. I think it was Becky. She received an envelope or was it Tina? It was either Tina or Becky. The same thing happened to them. Their package came all destroyed. And I think one of them even mentioned that they actually had an envelope with nothing in it. And the postman told them they had to deliver it because it was the law or something like that. I don't know the craziness. But anyway, Monica, you are a sweetheart. And like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that nothing was um, spilt because, like I said, this is more than enough. But I know how heartbreaking it is when you send things and... Either the recipient doesn't receive everything or there's things missing. That can be gut-wrenching. It has happened to me. And, you know, what can you do? It's it's like no one's fault. It's not my fault. It's not Monica's fault. It's the post office. And uh, I have to tell you guys, her Neville dots came out awesome, too. I love them. I cannot wait to use these on a project. I actually have... Um, something in mind for them but these are awesome thank you so much and as you can see I couldn't even get everything else out um, because the bag is still sealed I mean the envelope is still sealed in the corner but since somebody already opened it that way I'll just finish opening it up and I am, like I said, Monica, I'm so sorry that I um, opened that like that, but I was only expecting these goodies, and she sent me the cutest, 
cutest stamp set. I love this. <laughs> I love this. Um, it has a little gingerbread, a Christmas tree, a snowflake, just in time for the holidays. And she sent me a little message, which I will read off camera. I love this paper, though. Look at that. <laughs> I showed it to you real quick. So I'm just afraid that, you know, something might have spilled or something else might have been missing. But Monica, sweetheart, thank you so very much for these. I love them. I so appreciate that. And it was so kind of you to share that with me. Um, more than I deserved, for sure. Um, I hope I didn't spill anything else out. Or I hope nothing else was missing. And now I don't... I, I mean, who am I supposed to contact about this? It's not these guys' fault. I'm sure they send me... I've never had a problem with eBay and missing products. I'm sure they sent me the amount that I ordered. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. But I definitely ordered three of these, and only I only have one in my hand. And I'm a little disappointed with that. Not only do I only have one, but the one that I have came broken. Um, there are several, several teacups that are broken. And I actually ordered a, a, an extra one for my friend. So I'm really pissed about that, too. I've never, ever had an issue with my stuff coming in broken as well. And these are resin pieces, guys. If you're not careful with them, they'll break. You know, but oh well. Oh well, what can you do? I'm sure you guys have had similar horror story experiences with the mail. Um, you know, at the same time, so you know... Out of the hundreds of, and I mean hundreds, of packages that I've sent out and received, um, if I've only had three bad incidences, then I guess I should just consider myself lucky um, that we even have the postal service. It's just a little, you know, it can be a little sad sometimes when you see people, you send certain things out a certain way. And your friends don't receive them the same way that you intended for them to get it. So I get that part. I do. So anyway, that is my little rent for the day and my little um, share and haul. I just want to thank Monica again so much. I really, I can't stop looking at these and touching them. Oh my goodness, I really want some of these beads now. Um, aren't they just awesome? Hers really came out perfect. And if you go to her channel, she explains um, how to prepare, how to make these, the temperature, how long she left them in, everything. So thank you guys for stopping by, and I hope you all have a very blessed day. Thanks again, Monica. I really appreciate that, hon. You are such a sweetheart. So kind and generous. I loved it. Loved my stamp and my little note. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Um, is there anything else I need to tell you guys? Uh, not right now. We'll hold off for my other announcement that I will be making soon. Have a blessed day, everyone. Talk to you soon.